All right, so here we are on our classic Facebook layout. And let's just have a real quick look at, at the location of everything. So over here we have our timeline. And then we've got our news feed or home button. And our create group button, our friend requests, our messages, our notifications, our help, and our account. Now I'm not going to go through and show how everything works on the old interface because I'm assuming you're already familiar with that. So if you want to switch over to the new beta interface, we go up here and we click on this little arrow ahead and right near the bottom of the pop-up menu, you click our switch to new Facebook and you can see it's a little bit different of a layout. Things are found in different spots. So we'll start with the area we're already in, which is our news feed or the home. So our extra options here are available by clicking on see more. Now, uh, a question that a lot of people ask is how to set for seeing the most recent videos. Now, usually this will be right up near the top of the list, but occasionally it hides it right at the bottom. Sometimes it doesn't even show up at all. So we'll just click on most recent. And now personally, this is the setting I prefer to use. I'm on Facebook several times a day, so for me, this works best. But if you're not on Facebook all the time, then the default setting might be what you're after. And you have to remember that every time you open up Facebook, if you want to see the most recent, you'll have to explicitly go set it. It always defaults to top stories. So I'm just going to uh, shrink that list back down. And now if we look at our shortcuts here, you'll notice that these ones that are listed at the top, if you're using this feature, uh, these are the ones that you've pinned to your shortcuts. Now you can pin a maximum of 10. And there is a way to go in and control that. So if we actually just go into the little edit link there. So you can go in here and and change whether you're going to pin them or not. So next we have our pages. So this is divided into a couple of sections. There's the uh, pages that you actually own, and then there's pages that you manage. So if you're involved in being a moderator or a manager for another channel, you know, it can show up here. And you can also create a new page over here as well on the left. And now we'll go to the watch section. And so if you're on the home area of this, it's going to show you the ones that it's recommending based on pages you've liked or videos that you've clicked like on. And then you can look at your saved videos. 
and then you've got your entire watch list. So your watch list consists of the ones that you've gone in and liked their pages. And you can manage that here. So you can go in and turn notifications for that page off and on, or you could remove it from the list entirely. Now we'll go into Marketplace. And again, the ones that are showing up in here for you are generally going to be the ones that you've gone in and, and signed up for the Marketplace. So whichever ones you joined, they're going to show up first. Now if you haven't signed up for any, it will still show you stuff. Uh, those are going to be based on the most popular for your area. That's provided you've actually got your location settings turned on. Now we'll go over here to groups and these are the groups that you've joined and the activity from them. And it's also got the quick features for turning the pins off and on. And just remember you can only have 10. And click on the little gear icon there and you can get access to your other settings for the groups. Now we're going to come back to the timeline here in a moment. We'll just take a quick look at these other little circle buttons here. So you've got your create button. So you can create a new page or group. And there's your messenger, your notifications. And of course your account menu. And this is where you would go in to switch back to your classic Facebook. And you can turn on your dark mode and a couple other things. So we'll take a quick look at Messenger. And if you see a little green dot on the profile picture, then that means that they're currently active and online. And if you've got a blue dot on the right-hand column, next to their name. That means there's a message waiting for you that you haven't looked at. And if you see the actual picture of them on in that right hand column, that means that they have seen your last message to them. And if there's nothing there at all, that means you have no active messages uh, for the last day. And if there's a little check mark that's kind of grayed out, that means there's a message that you've sent, but they have not read it yet. And then if you want to turn on the full messenger, you can click this link down here, see all in messenger. And that brings you into your full interface. All right. And then we've got our notifications. Now you've got an individual level where you can go in and click on those little three dots that show up in that circle. And you've got some options here. You can mark as red or you can remove it or turn off notifications. And then if you want to mark the entire list as, as red, you can pop that up there. And you can also get into your notification settings here. And once again, if there's a little blue dot, that means there's a, uh, a post from them that you haven't seen yet. Okay, now we'll go into our timeline. So 
just clicking next to where you see your picture and name. Now one of the questions that I get asked a lot actually is how do you view your timeline as others would see it? So to do that you just click on this little eye right next to your edit profile button. So that lets you view as if you're the public. So this way you can double check to make sure your security settings are only showing what you want them to show. And when you're done doing that, you go up here, upper right corner, and you click on Exit View As. Now, one little thing that I'd I'd love to see you guys do is for those that have really gone in and tried this new interface for a little bit, uh, let me know how it works for you. Um, just drop me a comment below if you're viewing this on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, then just leave a comment on the post. And let me know what operating system you're using and what kind of a computer you've got. How you find it. Do you like it better than the, the classic view? Does it run faster than the old one? Does it run slower? Let me know and this will help, this will help other users that might watch this. So now if we want to go in and edit our profile, then you can just hit your edit profile button. And of course, I'm assuming you already know how to edit your cover photo and your profile picture. Now if we want to get into kind of the hardcore settings, we go in here and go to your timeline settings. And then Here's where you can go in and alter everything. You've got the whole list. And now I'm not going to go through all of these. You can go in and, and play with the settings. We'll just touch on a couple of things here. So there's your, your main information there. But probably of more concern to a lot of you is the security settings. Now one thing that I would highly recommend if you haven't done it already and that is to use two-factor authentication. There have been a lot of problems as of late with people hacking other people's accounts. And if you have two-factor authentication turned on, it doesn't mean that you could never be hacked but it makes it extremely difficult. The, your Facebook information tab here. Uh, this is where if you're going to delete your account or temporarily deactivate it, this is where you would do it. And also you've got these other features here. Transfer a copy of photos or videos. Download your information. So this allows you to actually back up your account. The last time I did a backup was a few months ago and it, it uh, created a file of about 50 gigs. So it's not a small undertaking. And another commonly asked about area is how to change your privacy settings. And that of course you do here. And another common question is how do you deal with blocking? So you, if you come into your blocking tab, then you can you can unblock users. You can unblock uh, messages because you can block messages from a user without blocking the user entirely. And you can also block invitations, apps, and pages. And if you want to 
come in and handle your notification settings. This is where you do it. Okay, moving on. Let's go back into the timeline here. Another common question is how do you determine whose posts you see first? And to do that, you go up here to your account and you go to settings and privacy up here and then down to newsfeed preferences and then you click on see first on that pop-up menu. So the ones that have a blue star are the ones you've got set to see first. So all you have to do is go through your list and start clicking on the ones you want to see first. And uh, this will also ensure that you actually see posts from them unless you get too many of these turned on. And now I'm not absolutely sure, but I think that the order you turn these on will determine the actual order of preference within that group of the ones you want to see first. And then here is also where you can manage unfollowing people pages or groups and if you've unfollowed one but are still a member and you want to reconnect you would do it in here and here if you've got people that you've snoozed for a while this is where you handle that at All right, that's it for today's tip. Now, I apologize that this is not a quick tip like usual, but I've been getting more than a few questions from uh, more than a couple of people about where to find stuff. So I thought I would do this kind of a cross between an in-depth tutorial and a quick tip. So I hope you found what we did today useful. If you liked it, please make sure to click that like button. If you are finding it useful and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe or follow. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when all my new videos come out and you don't miss a thing. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.